Hi and welcome in this new video, hope you're doing well, hope your day is great and stay because you will discover how to use DBT with Airflow. My name is Mark Lamati, Head of Customer Education at Astronomer, best selling instructor on Udemy. If you want to stay up to date with Airflow and other tools, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and last but not least, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm that will help me a lot. Now let's discover how to integrate DBT with Airflow the best way. I assume that you already know DBT, but let me give you a quick reminder. So DBT is a command line interface tool that simplifies data transformation by allowing data analysts and engineers to transform data by writing SQL statements that will be converted into tables and views. There are many reasons why DBT is so popular right now. So for example, you can write SQL statements against many different databases such as Postgres, Redshift or Google BigQuery and you can create dependencies between those SQL statements by using Jinja templating. In addition, it makes it easier to document your data and to add data quality checks, which is pretty useful. Now let me show you the different ways of integrating DBT with Airflow. And the first one, and maybe the worst one that you might be using right now, is the one with the bash operator. So basically you run DBT commands through the bash operator. You have to use it if you use DBT core. If you use DBT cloud, that's another story that we are going to see just after. But with DBT core, you have to use the bash operator. And there are many issues here. First, by using the bash operator, you run the entire DBT project with the associated models and tests, which means you have everything into a single task. And if that task fails, then you have to rerun the entire DBT project, which can be costly. In addition, you have almost no observability on what the execution state of your project is in. You have to look at DBT to debug your jobs and so your tasks in Airflow, which is definitely not something that you want. Also, if you just want to execute a set of SQL files and not your entire DBT project, then you need a significant work to parse out those files and render them in Airflow. So truly, this way is the worst one. If you are doing that, stick with me because you are going to discover something that will change forever your way of integrating DBT. And trust me, it will be <laughs> much, much easier easier and faster. Now let's see the integration of DBT with Airflow when you use DBT Cloud. And in that case, it's slightly better. Why? Because you have the DBT provider with Airflow that provides many operators to make your life easier, such as the DBT Cloud Run Job Operator to run a DBT Cloud Job, the DBT Cloud Hook to interact with the DBT API, or the DBT Cloud Job Run Sensor to wait for a job to complete, and so on. So the provider gives you a slightly better integration with Airflow, but still, you will have to switch back and forth between DBT and Airflow if you want to debug your DBT jobs. It's better, but not the best experience, and it works only with DBT Cloud. So what if you use DBT Core? Well, it's now time to tell you the best way to integrate DBT with Airflow, and that is Cosmos. I can see the stars in your eyes. So what is Cosmos? Well, Cosmos parses and renders third-party workflows as Airflow DAGs, task groups, or even individual tasks. Cosmos has two components, the parsers and the operators. The parsers are responsible for extracting a workflow from a provider, like dbt, and converting it into an Airflow DAG, task, or task group. Every time the Airflow scheduler parses your DAG files, the parsers from Cosmos are executed and so your workflow is rendered. What does it mean? It means that if you update your dbt project, you don't have to restart Airflow to see the result. Keep in mind that the parser defines how your workflow is rendered in Airflow as a DAG, a task group, or an individual task. On the other hand, you have the operators. And the operators are like the user interface of Cosmos. Basically, they are lightweight classes that you can import and implement in your DAGs to define their target behavior. For example, you have the dbt run operator, the dbt test operator, the dbt seed operator, and so on. We will see some of them later in the video. To sum up, if you have a dbt project, then you use Cosmos in order to parse and render that dbt project in Airflow as a DAG, a task group, or individual tasks. And that's what you can see on the right. You have the operators that we were talking about and the dependencies between them. Those operators correspond to your models and tests. With Cosmos, you have the full observability on your dbt project directly in Airflow. No need to switch back and forth between Airflow and dbt to debug your jobs. You can see the dependencies between your models, tests, and so on. Then last but not least, you can even manage your connections from your dbt project in Airflow right away. So this is pretty amazing. Enough talking, let's move to the practice. In this video, we will use the Astro CLI to set up and run Airflow locally. If you don't know what is the Astro CLI, 
take a look at it, it's really the easiest and fastest way to run Airflow on your machine. By the way, you don't have to be an Astronomer customer, it's open source, go check out the following link and follow the instructions in order to install the CLI and run Airflow. If you want to do what I'm going to show you on your computer, you can do it, you just need to click on the link in the description below, you will find all the instructions and the code that we will use. In addition, take a look at the Cosmos documentation, you will find everything you need. That being said, let's get started. Okay, the first step is to create a folder like Astro and run the following command in order to initialize your local development environment. As you can see, the Astro CLI generates files and folders following best practices in order to set up and run Airflow locally. Among those files and folders, you have the file packages.txt, open it, and in this file you put operating system dependencies that you want to install. In the case of Astronomer Cosmos, we need to install GCC and Python 3 dev. So save the file, and next, open the file requirements.txt. This file is used in order to install Python packages, and obviously, Astronomer Cosmos is a Python package, so we need to put the corresponding package in this file like that. That will install the latest version of Astronomer Cosmos and dbt all will install all Cosmos, dbt and all of the supported database types, such as Redshift, BigQuery, Snowflake and so on. By the way, if you just need to interact with Snowflake from your dbt project, then you can use dbt.snowflake instead of dbt all. You have all the extra names that you can use here. Save the file and now it's time to clone the repository that contains the dbt project that we will render with Cosmos in Airflow. And the dbt project is very popular as it is Jeffelshop. Jeffelshop is the example from the official dbt documentation and it's a fictional e-commerce store that transforms raw data from an app database into customers and orders model ready for analytics. Feel free to take a look at the getting started tutorial from dbt if you want to learn more about this project. That being said, click on code, then copy the link of the repository, go back to your code editor and in the folder astro type git clone then the repository and hit enter. As you can see, you have the new folder Jeffel Shop. Create a new folder at the root of your Astro folder and type dbt. Then put that folder Jeffel Shop in the folder dbt like that. So you should have dbt then Jeffel Shop. Let's take a look at this dbt project. If you open the folder models, you have a bunch of SQL files. Each model lives in a single SQL or Python file that contains the logic to transform raw data into a dataset ready for analytics or, more often, is an intermediate state in such a transformation. For example, if you open the file customers.sql, you can see that we get data from different references, from different tables, we will see that in a second, and then we create a final table out of different tables, such as customer orders, customer payments, and so on, where we make the transformations, like we get the minimum order date, the maximum order date, and so on. If we go back at the top of the file, we have the references. And as you can see, they are built by using Jinja templating. And this is the power of dbt. You can create dependencies between your SQL files that will be resolved at runtime. For example, this piece of code refers to the corresponding staging model that you can find in the folder staging, staging customers.sql. If you open that file, you have the following statement in order to create a new table out of another reference, which is raw customers. Raw customers is another table that contains the raw data. To sum up, just remember that Cosmos will parse those models and the dependencies between those models in order to create the corresponding DAG and tasks for every model in the Airflow UI so you get the full observability on your dbt project. Another folder to take a look at is the folder seeds that contains the CSV files with the raw data that we will load in the Postgre database. And last but not least, you have the file dbt project that has a bunch of configuration settings for your dbt project. And more importantly, you have the profile setting that contains the connection to your database. The good thing is Cosmos doesn't care about your profile setting here. You actually create the connection to your database in Airflow, not in dbt. So you can manage dbt connections from Airflow directly. Okay, let's create a new folder in Jeffel Shop named micros, like that, and in this folder create a new file drop underscore table dot sql and add the following piece of code. Again, you can find all the code in the link in the description below. Save that file, think of a macro as a piece of code that can be reused multiple times, like a function. This macro will be used later in the DAG that we will create in order to remove existing tables. Next, create a new file in the folder astro, like that, called docker compose override. In this file, which is specific to the Astro CLI, by the way, copy and paste the following piece of code 
in order to synchronize the folder dbt with the Docker containers, so that whenever we modify something in the folder dbt, that will be automatically synchronized in the Docker containers corresponding to the scheduler, the web server, and the trigger. Finally, open the Docker file and add the following piece of code in order to install the dbt requirements, dbt core and dbt postgre, and create a Python virtual environment where the tasks that Cosmos renders for you will be executed. Indeed, to avoid package dependency conflicts between dbt and Airflow, all of your tasks corresponding to your models will be executed in Python virtual environments. Don't forget to create the dbt requirements file in the folder Astro, like that, and put the following packages in it, then save the file, and you have successfully configured the Astro CLI with Cosmos. By the way, this setup is something that you do only once. Now you can run Airflow by executing the command astro dev start. Let's wait a little bit. As soon as Airflow is up and running, you will land on this page, type admin admin, and you have access to the beautiful user interface of Airflow. It's time for the mind blowing part. And the first thing that we want to do is to create a DAG that will import the seeds, you know, the CSV files that we have in this folder, the raw data into Postgres. And for that, we can use dbt, but we will use Cosmos and the operators to help us. So let's do that. In the folder DAGs, create a new DAG called import-seeds, like this, .py. And you can just copy and paste the code in the Notion page in the description below in that file, like that. Let me give you a quick explanation about this DAG. So first, we import a couple of operators from Cosmos. And the first operator is dbt depths operator. This operator allows to pull the most recent version of the dependencies listed in the packages.yml file. As you can see, we don't have this file, but you might have one in your dbt project. Next, we have the dbt run operation operator. This operator allows you to execute dbt core run operation command. And finally, we have the dbt seed operator that executes the dbt seed command behind the scene in order to create the corresponding tables in Postgre and put the seeds, the raw data, into those tables. And that's exactly what you can see below with the following tasks. So first we have the depths install with the dbt depths operator. Then we have a task group corresponding to the different seeds that we have raw customers, raw payments, and raw orders. So we want to drop the seeds first if they exist. And for that, we use the macro that you can see right there, drop table that we have created earlier under this folder. And there is the last task, dbt seed, in order to create the tables where we will put the seed, the raw data into. Now, there are a couple of parameters that are pretty interesting. The first one is outlets. So as soon as this task is done, that will create the following data set that will trigger another DAG that we will create. If you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look at the video that I did about data sets. Then the connection ID Postgre. So if your dbt project has a profile with a connection to Postgre, you don't have to use this connection. Instead, create the corresponding connection in Airflow. So for that, go back to your Airflow UI and in admin connections, create a new connection and type Postgre for the name, then select Postgre for the connection type and copy Postgre to the host, the schema, the login, the password, then the port 5432 and click on test. Finally, you can click on save and you have your connection. So keep in mind, Cosmos doesn't care about the connections that you have in profile.yml. Instead, you create all the connections directly from the Airflow UI, so it's easier to manage them. Back to the DAG, another interesting parameter is dbt executable path that corresponds to the path of the Python virtual environment where the dbt commands will be executed to avoid dependency conflicts. So that's it, let's save the file and run the DAG. On the Airflow UI, click on import seeds and graph, and as you can see, you have this beautiful DAG with the tasks. Click on this button and trigger DAG in order to trigger the DAG. Let's wait a little bit until it is completed. Once it is done, go back to your terminal, then type astro dev ps and docker exec dash it, copy the container ID of the Postgre container, then slash bin slash bash, type psql dash u Postgre, hit enter, and finally backslash dt hit enter multiple times, and you will see the three tables, raw customers, raw orders, and raw payments. With Cosmos, you have successfully created the tables with the raw data corresponding to the seeds in your dbt project, and you didn't use any bash operator. That is great, but that wasn't the mind-blowing part. Here it is. So we have the models under this folder. 
as well as the staging models, what about them? How can we create all the tasks corresponding to all of those models as well as the dependencies in Airflow? Let me show you how to do it. So in the folder DAGs, create a new file. Let's call it jeffelshop.py and go back to the Notion page, copy and paste the following code. Save the file. And that's it. The operator dbt dag parses and renders your dbt project with your models and the dependencies between those models in Airflow. So you define a dag ID, nothing new here, then the dbt project name, Jeffel Shop, a start date, a schedule interval. As you can see, we use a data set here. So as soon as the import seeds dag is done with the last task that creates the data set, this DAG will be triggered as it waits for this dataset to be created. Then we have the connection ID Postgre and finally the dpt args and the Python virtual environment. If you save the file and wait a little bit, then go on the Airflow UI, you will see a new DAG, Jeffel Shop. Click on it and go to the graph view. And as you can see, you have your dpt project rendered in Airflow thanks to Cosmos. You can clearly see the dependencies between your models. If you click on one of them, you even have the corresponding dbt run command as well as the dbt test command if you want to add quality checks and so on. So this is truly a new way and the best way to integrate dbt with Airflow. To trigger the DAG and so the dbt project, we need to turn on the toggle and then we need to run import seeds again. Why? Because Jeffel Shop needs the following data set to run and this data set is produced by import seeds. Indeed, if we look at the data sets, you can see those dependencies. Import seeds creates the following data set that Jeffel Shop needs to run and Jeffel Shop creates those data sets. So let's go back to the DAGs and trigger import seeds again by clicking on this button, trigger DAG. Let's wait a little bit. And as soon as import seeds is done, you will see Jeffel Shop running. Okay, Jeffel Shop has been successfully executed. Let's go back to the terminal, type astrodev ps, then docker exec dash it, the container id of the postgre container, slash bin, slash bash, then psql dash u postgre, and if you type backslash dt and hit enter multiple times, you can see the table customers that has been created and populated by your Jeffel Shop DAG and so your dpt project as defined in this file. Congratulations, at this point you have successfully set up the Astro CLI with Cosmos and you are able to integrate dbt with Airflow in the best possible way. And as you saw, this is truly the easiest, fastest and best way to do that. If you enjoyed that video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, that will help me a lot, smash the like button and I see you for another video.